Bitch, Woody, check it out and check it out. Because let me tell you something about niggas, okay? Uh, because anytime you see somebody of color, they gain some type of fame, some type of success, especially in the entertainment business, you'll realize that there are other people that are always ready and waiting to start making allegations that the person who succeeded or the person who has a great idea stole from them. And now it happens to be that we're seeing this a lot when it comes to men of color, right? Anytime somebody got a hot song, yo, he stole that song from me. He stole my flow. He stole this. He stole that, right? And I'm not saying these things aren't true, but we're seeing more and more allegations, right? Now, it could be that the person who had it, that's the reason why I don't even like hearing when people tell me like, yo, they're a ghost, right? I'm like, fuck, if you're a ghost, right? A nigga stay ghost, okay? I don't want to hear about you. I don't want to see you until I seen a real motherfucking ghost. I don't want to see you, okay? If you have an idea, okay? Make that shit pop. Be successful. Okay, that's it. Now, here's the thing, right? Because this happens in Hollywood all the time. And that's the reason why a lot of directors, they don't even fuck with new people. Because people pull this whole little shenanigan where they'll kind of give you a script and you kind of read it to see if it's any good. And say you say, nah, it's not good. I'm not going to use it. Or you don't even respond. And say you make something that's any type of way similar to that script you got. They think you stole their idea. Now, There's a guy, his name is Larry Johnson. He claims 50 Cent stole the entire idea for power from him. Now, he said this in a lawsuit that he's actually filing. He said, listen, man, he said, I submitted a book to G-Unit Books back in 2007. And by the way, if you don't know, G-Unit Books is actually a real thing. It's an actual real business. By the way, 50 Cent put out a couple books on it, including Ski Mask Way, 50th Law, and even Rick Ross's baby mama's book, Tia Told Me or Tia's Diary, Deeper Than Rap. But he said, I submitted a script to a book to them. And pretty much, it looks like 50 Cent kind of used that script to make power. Now, you're probably wondering, nigga, how? Or nigga, why the fuck you lying, right? Now, these are the reasons he said he know 50 Cent stole it from him, right? Let's run down these reasons. And by the way, they're all provided to us by TMZ. But he said this. He said, well, the guy that's the lead character in my book, to be honest, he got a goatee. If you all notice, the guy in power, his name is Ghost. He got a goatee too, okay? Similarity number one. Now, similarity number two is that, yo, my pen name that I actually write all these things with is actually Ghost. The name of the character is Ghost. Come on now. Okay, that's similarity number two. Now, similarity number three is like, yo, the best friend of my main character in my book, he got a short fuse. (laughs) If you don't know, the best friend of the main character in power He got a short fuse too. His name is Tommy. Now, here's the thing, because uh, similarity number four is that, yo, the guy in my uh, book actually owns the hottest club in Atlanta. The guy in power, he owns the hottest club in New York City. Now, let me just stop it right there, because those are the similarities he has. He wants $200 million. $200 million. Now, I'm going to tell him to politely get the fuck on out of here, but I'm going to just say this, right? When you're writing about hip-hop, let's just think about the normal, average, stereotypical, whatever you could create about hip-hop. There's going to be a lot of similarities, okay? Okay, listen, the character's probably going to smoke weed. He's probably going to sell drugs. He's probably going to be trying to kill some enemies. And he's probably going to be rapping, okay? He's probably going to be going to the club, fucking bitches. He's probably going to be doing typical nigga slash rapper shit. Right now, it's not too much of a surprise when he's kind of making certain things that are like what you're not really you're not really coming with anything concrete. Now, I'm not even trying to discredit him all the way. He might be right. I'm just saying it seems very weak. Also, he's trying to get 200 million from 50 Cent. 50 Cent is bankrupt, right? 50 Cent is in bankruptcy court, which means this lawsuit, even if he won like a dollar, it would be sent over to bankruptcy court. They'll look at it. They'll be like, okay, Playboy. What you really want off this shit, though? We could give you, like, 50 cents right now. What, what do you want? You gonna take it or what? You gonna take it or you could join, join on the back of the line? Because Rick Ross, baby mom's, she's up here. She about to get some paper, okay? So what do you guys think about this? Get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like. Definitely subscribe. It's your boy, Jackie Demix, man. I'm out.